Hello everyone, it's Vak here, and today I'm showing y'all how to make Batman's microwave that he heats up his lobster thermidora in in the Lego Batman movie. So let's see it. Okay, so here it is, and you can see that uh, the microwave is quite big, but you can fit the lobster thermidor in it from uh, Lobster Loving Batman from the Lego Batman CMS series, and I'll take a closer look at it after the build. So there it is. I think it turned out absolutely amazing, and I really love all the different details on it, and it is very accurate too. So, time for the build. Alright, so here are all the pieces that you'll need, and there are uh, 40 of them, I'm pretty sure, so uh, there's just a bunch of different pieces, and of course you can uh, substitute a lot of these pieces for something else if you don't have enough of them. And uh, let's just get straight into this and start building. So I'm just going to start off with a 4x4 uh, in a dark gray, and then I'm just going to take a couple of these 4x1s in light gray. You don't have to use the same colors, dark gray actually might be a bit more accurate, but I had uh, the most light gray pieces, so I used it. Then you're going to attach those, uh, well not attach them on, but just put them right there and there. Then you're going to take four of these tile pieces, 2 by one tile pieces, in light gray, and then you're just going to attach them on just like that, and then that holds the uh, piece down right there. Then you're going to take right uh, here and attach on a 4 by one tile in light gray, or yeah, not really has, doesn't really have to be your light gray, excuse me. Then um, right here you're going to take three of these, or you can just use, you know, whatever bricks you have, and attach them right there, just like that. I think that uh, works really well for the back wall. Then you're going to take a uh, two by, I mean one by four, excuse me, and you're going to attach it right there. And then you're going to take a one by three and attach it right there. And then you're going to take one of these headlight bricks, uh, bricks excuse me again, <laughs> I can't talk today. And you're going to attach that uh, right there, so uh, that looks really good. That's where you're going to attach on this little cellophane piece. So, Alright, so next up you're going to take four of these Lego studs in um, light gray, and you're going to attach them right on the bottom just like that. So then they're on the inside, and those are just supposed to be the legs of the microwave, so those go right there. Then you're going to, for the roof or the uh, top of the microwave, you're going to take a 6x4, and then you're going to attach to it one of these uh, side building pieces, not quite sure what those are called, and you're going to attach it just like that. Then you're going to take one of these double white clip pieces, or two stud long clip pieces, and then a 2x1 in light gray, and attach it just like that, and that is for the uh, microwave door hinge. Then you're going to take a 2x2 two two tile and attach it just like that, and then take one of the clip pieces right there. Then, there, then you're going to take uh, one of these 2 by ones and attach it right there, and then you're going to take a couple of these little studs and attach them there and there, and those are for uh, lights on the inside of the microwave, and then this piece right here is just for symmetry, so then uh, there's one on both sides, so it's symmetrical. Then you're going to take it and you're going to attach it just on top like that. So uh, that creates the inside the microwave and then this is for the door hinge. And for the door, uh, right here you can take just this glass piece and uh, this works very well and I'm just going to attach it just like that. And then for the handle, which the actual uh, build in the movie doesn't have a handle, but you know, I kind of have... But in the movie, uh, he didn't have a handle on the microwave, so I added that so then you could actually open it up and so put it in a mini figure. Then right here, you're just going to take a 2 by one flat, I mean a uh, tile, and you're just going to attach that just like that, and that creates the side. And this also has that little gap right there so then it can open up properly. And I think that uh, works pretty good. There's that little gap there, but I kind of had to do that. Otherwise, it just would get stuck on the brick there and uh, not really open up. Then, right here, I'm going to take a 1x6 and attach it right there to finish off the top of it. And then I'm going to take this cell phone print. And uh, this is one of my favorite prints uh, for my sig fig. And I think that works okay for the microwave. I just did it because uh, it had the uh, numbers on it for uh, what time you wanted your lobster thermic door to be put in for, and uh, if you had anything that would work better, maybe the Yuppies uh, foam piece from Series 17, and I think that would uh, work very well for it. 
And then I'm going to take a couple of these jumper bricks and just attach them there and there. And that is optional. I wanted to have a couple studs on top because I thought that uh, looked more Lego and looked better. Then I'm going to take a couple more of these, of the 2x1s, I mean 2x2s. And then I'm just using one of these 2x4s because I couldn't find enough of these bricks. But, um, you know, you can use whatever you want for the top. Then I'm going to take a couple of these 1x1 one one tiles and attach them on top, and then to finish it off, one of these. So that goes right there, and there we go, the microwave is finished, so let's take a closer look at it. Alright, so here it is all built, and I think this uh, turned out fantastic. I love all the different little details on it, and the door opening up just like that uh, works very well. So uh, right here you can see the printed tile piece there. One, like I said, uh, that doesn't work too well because it looks a lot like a phone, but that was only the only tile piece I had with a bunch of buttons, so I think it is uh, pretty accurate. And then, of course, you can just open up the door like that and then put in the lobster thermid door. So uh, let me get that in there properly. Sometimes it does uh, fall over there, but there we go. And then you just close up the microwave, and then that, that uh, looks really great in there. I love how that looks. That uh, just looks very accurate to the movie. And then there's the bottom of the legs, and I think this uh, just looks fantastic. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's pretty much it, and I had a really fun time building this. I really, really love how it uh, turned out, where it's very accurate, and I really like that I actually made where the lobster thermidor could fit into it. That works great. Get in there, lobster. Get in there. Come on. There we go. So uh, I really love how it turned out, and please do tell me in the comments below what you think of it. I really love how uh, it works, and it just looks great. And that's pretty much it. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for daily video videos, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!